This is a quick review of the Sierra Wireless AirLink GX450. It is compact, very nice and small. You can mount it to your car, truck, or whatever. For my scenario, I use it in a, uh, in a house. In the back, you have connections, SMA connections for antenna. Micro USB to connect it to your computer. You don't really need it. These two ports, you don't need it as well. Serial port, I don't use it. This one I use to connect to my switch, networking switch, so that way more devices can get online. Here is the uh, power input. You can use 9 to 36 volt DC. So if you use this for your car, you can easily connect it to your car battery, for instance. Inside the box, it is bare. There is nothing else except this. Four silver screws to mount on the side. And a wire. The wire is not... The wire looks something like this. You are supposed to connect it, or they expect you to connect it to your car battery. So I cannot use it. I had to buy a separate adapter so I can plug it into the wall. Another thing you'll need is the antenna. Again, the antenna is not included. You'll definitely need it to get it to work. This is the one I've been using. And I made the adapter so that it can fit into the uh, little port right there. It needs a SIM card, so pop these four screws off. Take the cover off. And then you'll see this underneath. Underneath, you'll need to insert your SIM card. This is from Verizon, so I need the SIM card from Verizon. It is a full-size SIM card. Just slide it in and you're good to go. I am in the city and I'm averaging about 10 megabit per second. It is possible that this 4G modem is a lot faster, but I'm only getting about 10 so far. Let's go on to the computer and see what's in what the interface looks like. Open Internet Explorer up. Type in this address http colon slash slash one nine two dot one six eight dot thirteen dot thirty one colon nine one nine one. Make sure that it is http and not https. The s will not work. Username is user. The default password, I believe, is 12345. I changed my password already. Here are all of the settings that's available to you. By default, the IP address that it will sign is 192.168.13.31. For the modem, for your first laptop, which is the laptop we're on right now, the IP address will be 13.100. You can change it in the settings here. So let's go through the settings briefly. Here you can see that the starting IP address that it will assign is 100, as I mentioned before, and the last is 150. So it can support easily around 50 devices. It supports VPN as well.
you can do port forwarding as well, but I don't recommend it. Here you can change the old and the new password. If you want to change your IP address, this is where you go into the LAN tab. You can change the modem's IP address, which I don't recommend. You can change the starting IP address and the ending IP address as well. All right, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.